to IndieFawn. We are a triannual charity event showcasing all types of indie games. We're bringing you speedruns of games you may not have heard of before. To help puppies behind bars train incarcerated individuals to raise service dogs for wounded war veterans. And first responders, make sure to follow us on Twitter and join us on Discord to be kept up to date with all that juicy news. But without any delay, because I'm waiting for a delivery, it's Rena. Hi, welcome to No Delivery. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to let you down so quickly. Welcome to No Delivery. Uh, <laughs> this game's very interesting, and quite frankly, I don't know how it made it into the... Uh, I don't know how I made it in, but I'm very glad to be here, of course, as always. Uh, this game's we even... like memes. This this game is absolutely a meme through and through. Um, oh. It is very fun also. Yes. Uh, so our main gimmick for the run is that it's going to be randomly generated. Our time save is entirely dependent on the game. So uh, if we could get a little blessed from the chat, just a little bit. I need all the help I can get. Uh, yeah, give us RNG bless as much power as you can give for the good attendant. Please. <laughs> we need the good <laughs> attendant. Usually I, when I do get an attendant, it is pretty good, but regardless, uh, that actually kind of leads to our uh, first uh, thing. Uh, all the dungeons are randomly generated, so uh, as we get started here, our first dungeon we're going to want to die as quickly as possible, and uh, that's... Something that might actually not happen, we might just get really lucky. Uh, <laughs> which has happened to me multiple times, so we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, but without further ado, I think I'm ready for that that delicious timer to come in. So, uh... Yeah. Yeah, alright, here goes nothing. Three, two, one, go! Alright, hey, welcome to No Delivery. This is a CRPG, uh, I think like top-down isometric view kind of games. It came out in 2019. Uh, Ren is going to be doing some mashing here, a lot of mashing. Uh, mostly this is a pizza-themed game here in a pizzeria. Uh, the two fastest options Ren is going to pick here are going to be thick crust and plain cheese, which she did get. Baller. Thank you, thank you. It was all the, the roughest part of the All world. they have is... Yeah, it is. <laughs> it really is. I gotta tell you, when it runs, I've reset because I mashed and I hit the wrong the wrong kind of crust. Um, also, if I'm not mistaken, uh, both of them are, both the options are randomized in each menu, so you can actually just mash the first one and it won't always be the correct uh, option. I wouldn't be um, surprised. <laughs> so, uh, the game here now is going to give us a couple of cutscenes and tell us about some of the stats in the game. Um, they, are, they are completely randomized. Uh, what numbers you get are completely RNG. Uh, each character can have different numbers of stats. Each character can roll different numbers of stats each time. Um, they get fun little, uh, what would you call it, qualities that can up or down a stat. Um, the first person we get here doesn't matter. This is not going to be a character throughout the rest of the game. Um, it is, he's just the starting character. Uh, as Rena said before, she wants to die as quickly as possible so we can roll our new character that we're actually going to do the run with. Uh, with good luck, uh, she'll probably die in the next room or two. If not, all right. you know, we'll just keep going. I'm begging and pleaded. Sometimes the game's really nice and just lets us escape for some reason. No, there we go. It oh, begins. We escape because that's the only option we have. So we're going to keep going. Um, so each of the dungeons here that she's going to go through are going to be in this grid pattern that you see here. Um, and then you, you walk forward into each room. There can be different things in each of these rooms. There can be enemies. There can be shops. There can be messes you clean up. Um, if you don't have any rooms in your inventory, as you just saw, um, you'll have to clean it up with your hands. Uh, each of your competency points takes uh, away from how much HP it takes you to clean up a mess. Um, but since, obviously, we don't know our competency stat here, it just defaults to 10 HP. Um, so now you can see that we're at 1 HP, and unfortunate, another escape! <laughs> Are we gonna make it all we the way? We might actually make it to the end. Never mind. The... So, also, if you clean up a mess and you have less than 10 HP, it will still allow you to clean up the mess and you will continuously have one HP. The only way you can die is if an enemy kills you. So even though that she just cleaned up the mess, she didn't die. <laughs> and now we're forced by the dumpster gremlin to to get yeeted. <laughs> well, off to a great start, I must say. The worst Beautiful start. We're outcome. fired. This is what we want. So now 
uh, Renna is going to have the opportunity to roll a new character. We are looking for two or more competency, three or more competency. Or two um, or competency on two or two or more. Yes, three is ideal, but two two or more competency is the base that we need. Uh, let's see. Oh no! But he's three fun. So uh, we do we do <laughs> get, uh, we do get a cute doggo. So we do get a uh, get cute pupper. So the uh, for the charity, you know, we do get to see our pupper friend just a little bit. A little bit. Uh, so we picked up the razor. We're gonna open this uh, this toilet here, and we're going to reach inside of it for the hard object, and we want the key here. Uh, we're gonna use the key. We're gonna leave out on the right side while picking up trash along the way. Uh, we're gonna crawl through the fun little vent here, and we pick up this foldable stool that we'll we'll see. It's a tool to help us later. It's a surprise Big props tool to help game. us later. <laughs> yeah, it's a surprise tool to help us later. <laughs> so this game has five different endings: uh, survival, birth, death, necromancy, and termination. Uh, we are going to be doing the birth ending. The uh, the current world record for this game actually uses a necromancy ending, but we like the birth ending. We like the hype birthday RNG, so we're doing the birth ending. Um, each of the endings uh, will have, there's different certificates that you get that'll tell you which ending you get, and uh, you need all of them to get the, quote, final true ending, um, which is actually really fun. This game's really cool. Um, yeah, so there's vending machines that you buy items from. Um, as you will see, Rena's also going to be continuing to pick up trash. We're going to sell this later to buy more stuff from the vending machines. We actually won't. We're not picking up uh, much trash at all. In fact, we're uh, we're doing something different. Oh yeah, that's right! Oh my gosh, I always forget the, the duplication glitch. I always forget, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, if you want Look, it's been a while. <laughs> if you want me to explain duping, I can. Yeah, we can we can explain duping when, we get, when you get there in a second. Uh, um, we're just about there. Yeah, we- oh wow, that's true, we are, we're already to the arcade. Um... The arcade, fun times to be had. Uh, so before this glitch was found, we used to have to grind and pick up trash. But one day, Rena said, let me mess around and find out. And she found out that uh, when you enter the stall and quickly leave while also mashing the button, you get to pick up the item that is going to be in the stall to the right here uh, and continuously just pick it up over and over and over. So we're going to be doing this for just a little bit, <laughs> because it's $75. Yes, and uh, we need 20 or more of the disposable cameras to be safe through the first two dungeons, and it takes uh, about $175 to get about 20-ish carrot, 20 to 22 cameras, uh, which is in the ballpark of the idea is like 20 to 22. Um, because depending on uh, if we get to summon our waiter friend, which I'll tell you about in a minute, um, we might need to use more cameras than normal. Also gonna dupe the permanent markers because I want four. Yeah, that's always nice. Um, so in this game, we have little uh, mini dungeons, I guess you could call them, called wrong turns. Uh, Rena is about to pick up the arcade wrong turn right now, um, but we're going to call it quits and go back to the manager console, head to the lobby, and um, oh. oh no, that's why we have to re-roll the dude because he's not the right <laughs> competency. So. Uh, because he doesn't have the competency we're looking for, you're gonna fire him and re-roll him and it takes some money. Let's go, bless. Bless, let's go, attendant! Nice. Uh, so the attendant has the two competency that we are looking for to uh, start out. Um, now that it's gonna head to the vending machine and buy a couple of brooms and some disposable cameras. Oh, 46 is beautiful, chef's kiss. Oh, I... There's no reason not to take uh, more than we as need. As many as possible, really. So before we had the duplication glitch, uh, you had to pick up almost every single piece of trash between the bathroom and the uh, the next bathroom where the arcade was. Uh, because to the right of the bathroom, in the, or sorry, I'm sorry, to the left of the bathroom in the arcade uh, is a little goblin in the trash can that you sell things to. But we didn't get to meet him because we don't sell anything to him, so... Uh, so, as you can see, this game is kind of on, like, an Earthbound style. There's, like, little bitty, like, submenus and tons of little R R R RPG things to do. Uh, the disposable camera is going to stun the enemies, um, and that is important because they can't hit us if they can't hit us. So, we stun them as much as possible. Wow, this fight um, sucked. <laughs> this fight yes, sucked that fight bad. was awful. <laughs> um, the stuns actually last two turns, and I say that in quotes, 
um, because you do the stun and then the turn flips over and then you do your thing and then the turn flips over and you get to stun them. Um, so it feels kind of like two turns, but it's really, you're really stunning them for one. Um, it is important to stun them as much as possible, especially after you pick up our waiter friend. Uh, after this part, we're going to go back to the bathroom and we're going to uh, pick up the drowned waiter. Um, in this game... That. Did you already do that? Yeah. I must have linked and missed it, honestly. So we have the Drowned Waiter. Uh, in this game, there are little um, friends that you can bring along with you. Um, there's a couple of different versions of them. You get the Clown, the Drowned Waiter. Um, there's a third one that I'm missing that I can never remember because I haven't done all the endings, like all certificates in a very long time. Um, but you get to summon them if you come across a room inside of each of these dungeons that have a lined chalk mark on the ground. Um, so if we get to summon our waiter friend, he'll be the one stunning while we do the Walkman Blast. And we get to go pew 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 pew. These things have one HP. The only thing... I... There's only one incorrect option, and that's missing. Come on, please, I beg of you. Yeah! <laughs> the RNG in this game is very interesting. Uh, so I actually have been... Uh, I don't have it finished, I'm gonna finish it soon, I promise. But I've been working on an auto-splitter for this game, just simply because it's so short. Um, and the way that, like the memory reads for the splits and the way that uh, some of the enemies trigger is uh, has been very interesting to learn. Um, a lot of it is literally just it rolls a number and pulls it and is so varied. Um, and I still don't understand the stats work. I still don't figure that out. I have no clue. I'm sorry. But this game is very hard to understand. It's a mess. We, I mean, people ask the developer about it and he won't even tell us. So, you know, it's a mystery forever. Yeah, it's just it just adds a little bit of fun to it. You know, you gotta keep you on the edge of your seat. It's gonna be a predictable game. Oh, fun. No, uh, <laughs> no drowned waiter for this boss. No drowned waiter, but also you like all your all your good RNG for like the beginning where you wanted to die is not come back to bite you in the butt because you've hit like almost everything in this dungeon too. So no, the misses. Please stop missing. I'm begging. I'm begging. No misses, bleeding. no misses, no misses. Hey, if they miss on you, that's fine, though. Uh, yeah, it's 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 more like psychic damage, you know? <laughs> yeah. All Just right. mentally keeping us here. Oh, this boss fight sucks without the waiter. Yeah. So... Are you just- I probably just gonna do camera into- yep, camera into Walkman Blast. So I- so ideally here, uh, if Rena were to have the Drowned Waiter, uh, the Waiter would be using the disposable camera, Rena would be using the permanent marker on the main boss, and then using the Walkman Blast in the turns between needing to use the disposable camera. But, since we don't have the Drowned Waiter, it is just going to be, uh, stuns into Walkman Blast. Oh, oh, spicy, feeling spicy. Ooh, 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 the marker. That was disappointing. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Just a bit. Uh, Just a little stay bit. on, Marker. Thank you. Marker's right. last for two to three turns, right? I feel right. like, yeah. That was fine. Uh, the, mo the thing we use the permanent markers for is the uh, light gun blasts. Uh, it's two quick succession blasts. They're very, they're very good, but only when they crit. So only when they crit, which is completely just shot in the dark. Yeah, but you can increase the chances of that uh, by using the permanent marker, and along with that, you increase the hit rate as well, which is also super important. That's Especially for how often you miss in this game. <laughs> I'm not liking my my camera count right now. Yeah. Oof. I know you bought 40 of them, but... Alright. Oh, he's almost dead. He got this. I believe in you. Let's go! And bleeding. Oh, there we go. And he's and down. I might grab more. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's dungeon number one. One out of three. We only do three yep. dungeons. Just three of them for the for the birth certificate. Or is it like to call the birthday extravaganza? It is a bit of an extravaganza, especially of RNG. It's it's an extravaganza of RNG. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna replenish my stocks after that one. I'm. Yes, that was a good idea because that <laughs> in the next fight it could be a little spicy if you don't get the waiter again. 
Yeah, which is always a possibility. You could just never get it. You spend like additional time at the beginning of the game to get it, and it could just uh, be completely pointless. It's just he's just Gonzo. You never see him. Our poor waiter. We were hyping him up in DMs before this too. We were like, oh yeah, the blessed waiter. You're gonna get him. He's gonna be the best friend. He's gonna save the run. And now he's now he's lost forever. Oh, uh, we have to find him. Yeah, there's two more chances for him to save time. Two more chances. <clears throat> so we uh we speak to our little uh, fuzzy Elmo friend here and hand him the uh, cheesy bar that we just got from that last uh, wrong turn. Uh, so several of these wrong turns give us uh, particular items that you need to progress further in the game and get all of the endings. Um, we need the cheesy bar in particular to talk to the evil Elmo here. He gives us the showtime ticket to walk into the theater. Um, and remember that uh, bar stool tavern thingy what was it what do you call it i guess just a regular stool uh our secret item will come to help us here in a second it's true it's gonna come in clutch uh because we it is need it. we need it to get on the stage we can't climb despite up. our height we are apparently still too short and we need the uh we need the step stool here to uh to get it so get some sodas too love the sodas yeah i was gonna say grabbing those sodas is a good idea backstage and this uh, is the worst dungeon in the game, except uh, not really, but it just feels like the worst dungeon in the game. It, when you're going it really it. does. It just it does feel weird because now we have Shadow Elmo. You know how we have like Dark Link and Ocarina of Time. Now we have Shadow Elmo. So this is uh, Evil Elmo's somehow slightly less evil brother. Um, but there's many of them. There's too many of them. There's too many. Uh, of hopefully, them. yeah. Hopefully we only see him once, but we'll we'll find out. I will say the damage values have been especially bad today too. Uh, the rolls have not been great. Uh, I'm no. not confident in my rolls today. Something about them are just a little cursed. We're we're building up for that good old birthday RNG. You know, we gotta we gotta have the bad stuff to get the good stuff later. We gotta get the bad stuff out of the way. That's true. That's true. Hopefully the birthday RNG does end up decent at least. That would be at least something. Uh, the encounter rate back here is nuts, though. Uh, it is. Be, high, be, and buying those extra cameras was a good idea. It'll be a gift if we, uh, if we get a break. And I'm gonna have to buy even more extra cameras, probably. Uh, I was feeling a little confident because last run was really, really nice, and I didn't need too many cameras. It was, mm. Oh, the miss! Every time walking the glass misses, I... I lose a little bit up here. Just a little bit more of me says, why did I run this game? Why did I bother? <laughs> yeah, we just saw, like, recluse a little more inside. Just a little more inside of me dies. And I th I like to think that's part of the game. I think, I think, I think that's part of the vibe. Uh, yeah, the just a little thing, bit. The best thing about this uh, infallible strategy is that it does hit multiple enemies, so we don't need to worry about groups catching us off guard. Like this. I always love getting this enemy because the little thing beside him always looks like he's giving me a thumbs up. And I'm like, thanks bud. I need the motivation. I do too. It's not looking good to <laughs> you. to get through this. <laughs> it keeps going. Please, uh, waiter, it would be super cool if you showed up. We need the drowned waiter. Please, blessed drowned waiter, please grace us with your presence. So we're please. begging and pleading, please. Oh, it makes every fight like infinitely uh, shorter, just because it only takes like a few turns. You have to match yeah. the turns you have to take, so it's just like super chill. The turns are each each fight that you see you're gonna do uh, will be immediately cut in half if we had the if we had the drowned waiter who is a secondary character. Uh, and that's the only reason we go all the way to pick him up is for the off chance that we do get to have him and uh it can make or break a really good run especially when you start to run out of items with even with the duplication glitch you saw that run about what 45 cameras or something like that and still still scraping the barrel here and had to buy some more so it's not looking good chief uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is looking a little rough <laughs> we need the drown waiter come help us how many cameras do we have for this uh for this upcoming boss battle, which will also be a little miserable. Uh, as long as you walk into the battle with maybe like 15 or more, you you should be good for the boss fight and like maybe halfway through the last dungeon and hope we get the waiter, but might have maybe. to go buy more safety uh, cameras. I might. Yeah. 
just in case. I mean, there's no reason not to. This is... We're already teetering a little bit. Oh my god. Yeah. Please. You're not having good luck. So each of these dungeons have a set amount of rooms you have to go through. So like, uh, each, each square you see on the map, you absolutely have to go through that room. So we know exactly how many chances for encounters we can have. Um, so we can... In a way, technically, I guess, in the back of our heads, kind of plan out how many we need, but we always want to hope that, or how many cameras we need, but we always want to hope RNG is on our side, that, um, that we won't, that we won't need that many cameras, and or we get the attendant and would obviously need less cameras because less turns need to be, need to be had. Is that the, one last chance, come it's in clutch. One next Nope. Oh! Straight up robbed. I, you know, having a shop room would have been nice because shop rooms you can skip. Uh, a couple of rooms ago, there was a... Uh, room with just a melted animatronic in the center. Those are those are shop rooms. You can buy things from them. Um, but unfortunate. This is you have plenty man. of. It is you have plenty of batteries for the for the Walkman blast though. So yeah, all these enemies drop batteries, so we got plenty of extra Walkman blasts. Mm -hmm. I need to just start normal attacking and taking that risk, because otherwise we are going yeah. to run out of cameras. <laughs> okay. All right, Ooh. the collector. All right, Hopefully, let's go. The charade ends the sh here. The charade will not end here, bud. Sorry, we gotta we gotta speed around to finish. Okay, this is real uh, praying, begging, and pleading hours. Real spoopy hours here. This time we do have uh, the soda to make sure that we get uh, at least some. There's some repose. Yeah. So with the soda, uh, you get to take uh, two actions per turn now, and picking up those sodas with the R&D that you had was an incredibly good forethought. Uh, GG, but uh, that was a good idea. I would have not thought of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, the sodas are right there. If you have any sort of... Uh, if you basically have any sort of uh, broom, uh, it's basically free, so there's no reason not to take it. Other than the, like... Three seconds it loses you. It's, it's it's absolutely worth it to have it back back up, especially with as awful as the drowned waiter RNG has been. I'm yeah. gonna be really really upset if we get through this run and don't get the show off the drowned waiter. Like I'm gonna be so mad. If we could get drowned waiter for the last battle, that would be cool. We do have a lot of rooms to go through on the birthday. Yeah, like a lot. So hopefully the chances will be higher. But thankfully, the collector is actually uh, the easiest boss. Uh, thankfully, just because he we doesn't have a do much. We, it's just because yeah. we have a soda for it, so worst comes so we can always get stuff off. Sledgehammer. Let's oh. go. Sledgehammer. Start, yeah, we start in the restroom because now we got to start breaking down some walls and going in the back rooms. We got to crawl through the establishment, quite literally. So, uh, if you noticed earlier, there was a clown statuette in the corner here when Reno was buying things in the vending machine. We are going to go around the establishment and pick up these strange statuettes. So we need three of them to turn into the, uh, what do, did we ever give them a nickname? I just call them like the Alley Bro. Like, Alley I don't bro know what we should- Alley Bro Alley Bro is fine. There's a guy in the back alley of the establishment here that we'll be getting a VCR for to get the birth ending. Uh, so we have to pick up the three strange statuettes to trade into him because he won't give us a VCR tape otherwise. Uh, the so there's should th be enough. Uh, I'm begging and pleading the 30 I, I hope so. I, I believe in you. <laughs> we also have that extra soda if you need it, so. Yes, uh, we will definitely be using that soda. Oh yeah. I'm gonna break the wall here, and this is the, um... Elmo. Oh! Elmo, come back, bud! Come back! Oh. And, uh, here's the worst part of the run, because, uh, the entrances and exits double- The exitses? Okay. Uh, the entrances and exits, exits uh, double back on each other, so if you forget uh, which direction you're supposed to be heading, you will just waste, like, two seconds, and it's- it's- it really isn't that bad, it really is just more psychic damage right at the end of the run. It I remember when I was casually uh, playing this game, like when I first got it, I drew an entire map of the entire like game because I couldn't remember where things were at <laughs> all. So I would like double back and draw in a map for this game, so I have a map! If you ever want to play this game, I have a map. Hit me up. <laughs> Let's go. All clowns have been collected though. Uh, we need the sledgehammer to get behind, unfortunately. Uh, and we'll trade in for a VHS tape, which is going to take us to the birthday incident. 
uh, oh, which is yeah. just as sinister as you would imagine it would be. Though this man does Hello, Allie, bro. He talks very slow, but he does finish yeah. the game for us, so, you know. I interesting. It's it's always I always thought it was interesting that this game loads different pieces of dialogue in at different times. So you'll see that different words load in at different times in the dialogue instead of all at once. I think it's kind of a cool touch to the fact that this is obviously like a horror themed CRPG. All right. Do we have any drowned waiters that would like to show themselves? Drowned waiters, please have, bless us with your presence. We have I'm begging. Fifteen tries. Come on. Fifteen tries. Please. Surely. Surely in 15 rooms, one of them, just one of them has to be what we're looking for, right? Please, 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 John Waiter. I love you, my dude. Please show up. My beloved. These messes are cool. These rooms with, you know, uh, present boxes are cool. But you know what would be cooler? <laughs> just Waiter, let's go! Finally. Let's go, we're, we're in it, we're in it. John right. Waiter, free game, free game. So far, this Free. birthday has been great. Uh, the huge thing with this uh, dungeon is that uh, all of the enemies are these balloons. Uh, they don't attack. Uh, they just attack you back whenever you uh, whenever you attack them. It is faster to attack them. So it is. Yeah, it's faster to kill them than it is to attempt to run. Yeah, so this is a war of attrition. Yep. Thankfully, I'm so excited. We have the drowned waiter. Like nothing can ruin my night now. Like. I'm so everything's gonna be great. We do have a decent amount of pizza, just in case. So we have like been... five pizzas. And I would like to say I did call the fact that all of your bad RNG had to be get out in the beginning because you have gotten quite a few skip rooms, which has been clutch, especially with how many cameras you have. Oh gosh, this damage is really bad though. Uh, yes. And the worst part about getting the Drowned Waiter early in this uh, is that uh, the Drowned Waiter will also be taking damage, so we have to keep up their health as well. Oh hey, second oh, one. A, a second chance at a Drowned Waiter, wow. I mean, that's a free What are the chances of a third, though, so... If we could get a third, that would make me feel <laughs> really upset, but I would that... be happy about it. <laughs> yeah, this dungeon hoarded all of the Drowned Waiters. <laughs> Oh, looks like we're gonna be good though. Getting really lucky on RNG for these skip rooms. Let's go, let's go, last skip Third room. Third waiter. Third <laughs> waiter. This dungeon, this dungeon was hoarding all of our waiters. Holy moly! Like I little... can't believe it. <laughs> all right, and we're getting ready for time. Uh, up on this uh, battle here. Uh, yeah, time time ends on the final hit of the boss slash when the birth certificate shows up. It kind of happens like really close after each other. I'll also be calling out for it. So now we get to flash the camera at the clown. And we hope for good birthday RNG. I do believe you did call that. I do believe it was. Well, it was the next to last room had our third waiter, but you were really close. You were really close. But this this dungeon did hold all three of them. So, thankfully, this uh, this boss fight can go pretty quickly if the light guns are nice to us. Yeah, if we if you get some good light gun crits, this could be a very quick fight. So definitely be hovering your finger over the uh, timer button. He's at about half health. <laughs> Please, I'm begging. I'm begging Let's again. go. Oh, it's an eight and a four. Oh, oh, baby. All right, he's about to die in like another turn. Time. And that's time. <laughs> what a tragedy of a run. <laughs> the entity deems you worthy. How did I close that? <laughs> So that's no delivery. <laughs> Certificate of birth. Yes. We're born. You can print this out and hang this up on your wall at home. <laughs> uh, you all are free to take a screen cap as you wish uh, and print this out as a fun activity uh, and fill it out uh, because now, finally, you've officially been born. How fantastic is that? If that isn't worth it. Congratulations, that, everybody. Depending on your time zone, your birthday can be June 4th or June 5th. Who knows? Ooh, it's it's variable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, normally this is where I would shout out the community or something, but 
It's me, uh, Varen, and Teddy, and that's it. And yeah, that's Teddy, it. I'm one. Two thirds of the community is on the call. So what's up? <laughs> hey. Also, I also didn't introduce myself at the beginning. Hi, my name is Varen. <laughs> The worst part is the world record holder isn't even the call. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but uh, oh that's... yeah, that's no delivery. Uh, if you like this game, it is on itch.io uh, for like five dollars, something like that. Uh, oh, yeah. If you also bought the uh, racial injustice uh, bundle from a couple years ago uh, in 2020, uh, it is also included in that. That's how I got started on it. Um, yeah, so this is a great game. Yeah, it's actually a really good casual playthrough, even if the speed run is a little testy. <laughs> uh, it's it's a super fun run though. I I, I dunk on it a lot, but it, it's like it's like running Mario Party. I say this every time. You know, you don't know what you're gonna get, but every time you're either gonna have a fun time laughing at your own misery and relishing in the pain and suffering of random number generation. Or you're gonna pop off because the gods have blessed you that day, and it's a great birthday this. RNG. <laughs> you know, it happens. It happens. Uh, today was a showcase of very bad RNG, but uh, you and know. also apparently now the slower ending apparently because I didn't know Necro could be faster until like a week ago when I went to look at the leaderboard and went, "Yo, is that a Necro world record?" Whoa, <laughs> okay. Yeah, and thankfully, uh, th this is actually, despite the bad RNG, we have actually clutched it out. Uh, we are very uh, bigly underestimate because, uh, you know, the, the moment we die any at any late point in this game, we're set back to, ah, uh, a while. Uh, yeah, so... It's, it's a lot it, of recovery. The estimate was very hearty. Sorry for coming underestimate, but also you're welcome. <laughs> underestimate is always appreciated. Absolutely. And well, that's not all from um, Rena. She has Yuppie Psycho coming up next. Yeah, get hype. Yep. So we're going to go to a brief intermission to sort that out, and we'll be back with you as soon as possible.